Good day everyone! Welcome to Math with Teacher Justin. On today's topic, we're going to talk about solving word problems involving joint variation. Let's have our example. Wind resistance varies jointly as an object's surface area and velocity. If an object traveling at 80 miles per hour with a surface area of 30 square feet experiences a wind resistance of 540 newtons, how fast must a car with 40 square feet of surface area travel in order to experience a wind resistance of 495 newtons? In this word problem, we need to identify the variables present in our word problem. So in this case, we can find it in our first sentence or in the first sentence. We have the wind resistance, the surface area of the object, and the velocity of the object. So let's have our representation. So let W be equal to the wind resistance, let S be equal to the object surface area, let V be equal to the object's velocity. So since we use the word varies jointly, we're going to translate this as an equation W, the wind resistance, is equal to the constant variation times the surface area times the velocity. Having our equation, we can now move on to our solution. Now, since we're given a set of values for our variable, which is 80 miles per hour, that is the velocity of the object, the 30 square feet, the surface area of the object, and the wind resistance of 540 newtons. Using those value, we can get the constant variation of our equation by substituting or using the same value and substituting the first set of the given value, which is, which is 540 is equal to the constant variation times 80 times 30. And let's multiply 30 and 80, 2400. And then divide both sides by 2,400, we will get 540 all over 2,400. And simplifying that, our constant variation is equal to 9 over 40. Now, using the constant variation, we can now get the speed of the car with 40 square feet of surface area and experiencing um, a wind resistance of 495 newtons by using the same formula but this time substituting the new values of the surface area and the wind resistance and also the constant variation so we're solving for the velocity of our object so substituting the given the new given so we have 495 is equal to the constant variation which is 9 over 40 times 40 times V. Now simplifying the, the right side by multiplying, we will get 9 V is equal to 495. Divide both sides by 9, we will get the velocity of the car which is 55 miles per hour. So that will be our final answer. The velocity of the car is 55 miles per hour. All right, okay, let's have another example. So for a given interest rate, simple interest varies jointly as principal and time. If 2,500 pesos left in an account for five years earns an interest of 625 pesos, how much interest would be earned if you deposit 7,000 pesos for 9 years? Okay, so in this case, let's identify the variables present in our word problem. We can find it in our given or we can find it in our first sentence or statement. So we have the interest, okay, the principal, and the time. So we need to have our representation for our variables present in our word problem. Let's have our representation for our variable present in our word problem. So, let i be equal to our interest, p for our principal, 
and T for our time or for the time. Now, let's translate the word problem into an equation. Since we use the word varies jointly, we're going to have a joint variation. So, we, will, we can translate this as interest or the interest is equal to the constant variation times the principal times the time. So, our equation will be I is equal to K P C. Now, we can have our solution. So, for our solution, since we're given our first set of interest, principal, and time, the number of years, we can use that to get the constant variation. So, first solve for our constant variation. So, using the same equation, I is equal to K P T. We can substitute the first set of our given, which is the interest, which is 625 pesos, is equal to the constant variation times the principal, which is 2,500 pesos, and the number of years, 5 years. Then simplifying it by multiplying 2,505, we will get 625 is equal to K times 12,500. Dividing both sides by 12,500, we will have 625 all over 12,500 is equal to K. Simplifying this, our constant variation is equal to 1 over 20. Now, using the constant variation, we can now find the interest that you can earn by depositing 7,000 pesos for 9 years. Okay, so using the same equation, substituting the values of the constant variation and the principal, which is, which is the deposited amount, and the number of years. So we have I is equal to the constant variation, 1 over 20, times 7,000, the principal, times 9, which is the number of years. Simplifying this, we will get 350 times 9. We will have an interest of 3,150 pesos. So after 9 years, the interest will be 3,150 pesos. Alright, let's have our last word problem for today. So, the volume of a pyramid varies jointly as its height and the area of its base. A pyramid with a height of 21 feet and a base with an area of 24 square feet has a volume of 168 cubic feet. Find the volume of a pyramid with a height of 18 feet and a base with an area of 42 square feet. So in this word problem, we need to identify the variable present in our, in our word problem. We have the volume of the pyramid, the height of the pyramid, and the area of the base. So we have three different variables. So let's have our representation. So for me, let V be equal to the volume of a pyramid, let h be equal to the height of a pyramid and let a be equal to the area of its base. Now, let's do our translation. Let's formulate our equation by translating the first sentence. So, Since we use the word varies jointly, we're going to deal with joint, um, joint variation. And we're going to deal with joint variation. So, since our Dependent variable is the volume of the pyramid and our two independent variable is the height and the area of the base We can formulate our equation as V is equal to the constant variation times the height of the pyramid Times our area of the base now that we have our equation We can now proceed to our solution for our solution We must first identify the constant variation and in order for us to get the constant variation We must use the first set of our given in getting our constant variation so we have a pyramid with the height of 21 feet and an area of 24 square feet 
and the volume of that pyramid is 168 cubic feet. So, we use the same equation and substitute that given, which is 168, the volume, is equal to the constant variation times the height, which is 21 feet, and the area of the base, which is 24 square feet. So, simplifying, or let's multiply the height and the area, we will have 168 is equal to the constant variation, times 504. Now, let's divide both sides by 504. Dividing both sides by 504, we will have 168 divided by 504 is equal to our constant variation. Simplifying that, if possible, we will get k is equal to 1 third. Now that we have the constant variation, we can now find the volume of a pyramid with the height of 18 feet and the base area of 42 square feet so using the same equation v is equal to the constant variation times the height times the area substituting the given so our volume is equal to one third times 18 times 42 simplifying by multiplying one third and 18 we'll get the volume is equal to 6 times 42 and then multiplying 6 and 42 we will get the volume of the pyramid which is 252 cubic feet so the volume of the pyramid is 252 cubic feet now that you already know how to solve word problems involving joint variation it is your turn to try it please click the link in our description box below in order for you to test your skills that's it for today. Again, I'm Teacher Justin. Goodbye, God bless, and stay safe. See you on my next video. Peace!